Hey guys, and welcome to Petrol Ped, and welcome to this week's Midweek 180. It is a horrible day outside, so I'm filming this indoors. Autumn is very much on its way in the UK. But if you've not seen one of these before, this is my Midweek Update, where I bring you my news, views, and information about upcoming reviews, all filmed in one take. I'm gonna put 180 seconds in the bottom left-hand corner of your screen, and that's it, a very simple format. So, without further ado, let's get cracking with this week's Midweek 180. I shall start my timer. Okay, first comment last week was Red MXX, my mate Max, who also is a very good photographer and has an Instagram page. I'll put his details below. But the first time he's got the first comment, um, whoever puts the first comment this week, I will give you a shout out next week. So let the battle royale commence. Always good when someone gets it for the first time. Where are you and what you're doing? That was John S14A who just got in from work and was sat back relaxing, watching the Midweek 180 with a large glass of single malt. I like your style, sir. But wherever you are right now and whatever you're doing, let me know and I will give you a shout out next week. Now, last week's question was all about electric vehicles and it was basically, what are the factors stopping you buying an electric car? And there was lots and lots of suggestions. No great surprise here. Number one reason was range, by quite some margin, and uh, closely followed by cost. A couple of other interesting ones, there was quite a few people uh, was sort of going to miss the noise of a decent petrol engine, like a big V8 or a V6 or something. But then interestingly, quite a few of you just didn't have somewhere to park a, an electric car overnight where you could charge it. Maybe you lived in a flat or somewhere with no parking nearby. Um, so those were the main reasons. Um, this week's question, I don't know if you've seen these, so these were accidentally leaked by Ross Braun over the weekend. I think he'd done a lecture to some uh, college students and someone had taken a picture and stuck it on social media. But these are the new concepts for the 2021, or what potentially 2021 F1 cars would look like. I just wondered what you thought about them. I think they look really cool. But what would you guys do to improve F1? How would you make F1 a better spectacle? We've got a big opportunity in 2021. Let's just hope they get the formula right. Excuse the pun. Um, talking about Formula One, uh, this week uh, was the Singapore Grand Prix. I don't know if you've seen Lewis Hamilton's qualifying lap. Uh, if you haven't seen the onboard, you need to go and find it on social media. It is stunning. In fact, I'll put a card above to uh, the F1 uh, YouTube site. Absolutely stunning. Um, I have a huge amount more... Um, when I watch Formula One, now I've done some racing, uh, only a very, very low level racing, but the bandwidth those guys have, you watch him going around the corners and he's adjusting brake bias, coming around corners and phenomenal, phenomenal lap. The race itself promised a lot, but really for me didn't deliver a great deal, although there was quite a good midfield battle uh, with the likes of Perez and Sorokin going wheel to wheel. Uh, new car news is this. Um, I don't know if you've seen this brake cover. This is the Ferrari Monza SP1 and SP2. One being a single seat, two being a double seat but I just think it's beautiful based on the 812 super fast uh, five, uh, 6.5 litre V12 with over 800 horsepower. Uh, completely pointless car for me but it just looks beautiful and I bet it goes like stink as well. And then also, while we're on the electric car theme, this thing, the Dendrobium D1, broke cover at Salon Privé recently, Blenheim Palace. Um, they're, they're doing all their own in-house powertrain development, which I think is really cool. The car should weigh about 1,750 kilos, which I know is a lot, but it's going to have 1,800 horsepower. And then this Friday at six, you've got a tune, oh, nearly. <laughs> this Friday's video at six o'clock is the very last in my Becoming a Racing Driver series. It's a pretty special one. I'm gonna to talk to John from JJ Performance about all the services they offer in running a car. I talked to James from the 750 Motor Club about all the different categories of motorsport that those guys run, and then it's quite special. We're basically going to give you the chance to win my race car. The Clio I raced, um, I will give all the details on Friday, but you really need to tune in for that one because it's a pretty cool opportunity. Basically, win my car and have a go yourself. But that, my dear peddlers, is that. Just a touch over, but I hope you've enjoyed that video. If you have done so, give me a thumbs up. Comments below are always welcome. And if you haven't done so already, please subscribe to Petroped for plenty more content to come. And I will see you on the next film, guys, which is Friday at six o'clock. Win my race car and have a go yourself. I'll see you on that film, guys, but you take care. Drive safe. <laughs>